Blackout.com with Mike Clark of the Sun Times for High School Cube News, wrapping up the final state championship game, the 8A final, where Loyola just didn't quite have enough in the tank to beat Naperville Central. A very streaky Naperville Central team whose defense was incredible tonight. What were the keys? Uh, I don't know. They bent but didn't break. You know, Jack Penn had a great game for Loyola again. Uh, he had 238 yards passing and 50 yards rushing, but Loyola really didn't run the ball other than him, so that was one of the keys. Naperville Central, yeah, I mean, it's been an up-and-down season for them. They started out great, 5-0. and They beat Wabansi and Nequa Valley, two really good teams out west. Then they uh, struggled a little bit, lost three in a row. They turned it back around again, you know, and uh, one of the things that uh, came back to me is that Mike Stein, their coach, uh, said way back in the summer, he said, if we can make the playoffs, we can make a run. He was right. They did make a run. The theme of the post-game press conference for Naperville Central was a year and five weeks ago. We started this journey a year ago and five weeks when we didn't make the playoffs. Uh, these guys dedicated themselves. They started working. Uh, we've never had a group at Naperville Central work harder than these guys. They earned the right to be here. Uh, they're a tight-knit group. I love these guys to death. And, you know, it just shows that, you know, hard work sometimes does pay off in life. And, you know, the credit goes to these players stepping up and making plays. And that, really, that's what they've been able to do all year. Well, everyone's mission at the beginning of the season is to be state champions. They actually achieved it after missing the playoffs a year ago. Mike Stein said he thought that they were one of the top 20 teams in the state last year at four and five, just, you know, had some tough breaks. You know, we knew that they had the pieces. I mean, they had a great quarterback in Jake Colby. You know, they've got some other playmakers, uh, different spots around the field. Ben Andreas, who came on as a running back at the end of the year, really quick kid. Um, they had some good guys on defense as well. Jack Wildridge was an all-state linebacker. Mike Colzo made some great plays the last couple of weeks. So a great team effort for Naperville Central. Speaking of defenses, though, we do have to mention Loyola's defense, who didn't even allow an offensive touchdown, and Naperville Central still came away with the win. Yeah, well, I mean, Loyola's defense has been awesome all year, and uh, I just uh, had a chance to listen in on Charlie Potterelli, their defensive lineman, talking, and he said it doesn't really mean anything at this point because they didn't win the game, you know. Loyola has been so good the last five years, five straight years at least to the semis, two trips to the title game. They've been so close, and they just haven't quite been able to do it, and I know that's going to stick with them. I mean, you know, they might be starting their uh, quest uh, tonight, you know, for next year. Another year and five weeks away, <laughs> or I guess a year away now. Exactly, yes. <laughs> well, that's it from DeKalb and the state championship games. All four are in the books, and in fact, the Illinois high school football season is in the books. Make sure you stay on High School Cube News for all of the latest from here in DeKalb.